Brought to you by Phillips 66 Aviation and by the Bose Headset 10. With over 700 FBOs nationwide and the strongest supply in the industry, it's no wonder Phillips 66 is aviation's number one fuel provider. Phillips 66, the most trusted wings in aviation. The saying goes that if it looks like a duck and it walks like a duck, then it is a duck. Well, the Farnborough Kestrel is not an epic LT. I'm Russ Niles reporting from Sun and Fun 2010 here in Lakeland. And we've got Adrian Norris of Farnborough Aircraft to explain to us the differences and some of the similarities between a Farnborough Kestrel and an Epic LT. Is it an Epic? Uh, it's not. Uh, it's a Farnborough Aircraft is the name of the company and the aircraft model is the Kestrel. We had a brief joint venture with Epic uh, in 2003 uh, to 2005 and we did all of the aerodynamic work uh, on the Epic LT uh, and on the aircraft you can see behind me. Uh, and the two aircraft share a common wing, but really that, that's it. The, our fuselage is much longer, much larger than the Epic, and we had a, a parting of the ways uh, with Epic uh, early in 2005 and completed this aircraft uh, without Epic's help until it flew in July 2006. It, it really is a, a great airplane. We have uh, phenomenal performance. We're getting a cruise speed, realistic cruise speed, uh, for about 340 knots at flight level 260 and above. Uh, we operate, when we were in the UK, we operate out of a 2,000 foot grass strip and we can take off and land at maximum weight uh, in, in and out of that field and then climb out uh, over 3,000 feet a minute with a full, full cabin, full tanks, fly for 1,300 miles with IFR reserves. So that the performance is, is really there in excess of anything which is on the market in the single engine turboprop category today. We're privately funded uh, from the UK. Uh, we began discussions with Liberty uh, Aerospace in Melbourne, Florida, uh, 18 months ago, really initially to share some technical information and learn from them uh, about the certification process for carbon composite uh, aircraft. Their aircraft is made from exactly the same type of Torre carbon fiber as, as ours. And we just got on really well, had a very good relationship. We've started talking about some uh, financial possibilities and uh, closer collaboration, which hopefully is going to lead to this aircraft being, being produced and certified at the Liberty facility uh, in Melbourne. Realistically, it's going to be at least a, a three-year process to, to deliver us. We're ready to freeze the design and start work on conformal prototypes. Uh, we've got all of the detailed, detailed drawings. We've registered the project with the FAA, uh, but it's, it's a long process. And if everything goes smoothly, then three years' time. But I, at this stage in the certification process, I don't want to give a, give a date. So the airplanes are uh, six seat, uh, two pilots, four, uh, four passenger seats with a private lavatory. Uh, we've got a useful load with full fuel of 1,200 pounds. Uh, and 200 pound baggage uh, compartment, pressurized baggage compartment uh, in the aircraft. We're going to be certified to 31,000 feet uh, with a 7.5 psi cabin differential, so that should give a 6,500 foot cabin altitude at 31,000 feet. The Bose Aviation Headset 10 voted number one for the ninth consecutive year in Professional Pilots 2009 Annual Headset Preference Survey. Today's Aviation Headset 10 delivers a highly acclaimed combination of noise reduction, clear audio, and comfort that remains unmatched. Learn more at Bose.com slash headset.